Are you a teacher seller that's wishing there was a way more easier way to structure and organize your business from top to bottom so that you can keep it all in one centralized location and always know how your workflows work and how your processes go and how everything fits together in your business? Then this video is for you. We're going to be talking all about how I utilize my favorite project management tool and my secret weapon in my business, Trello, as part of a four-week mini-series on how to utilize Trello inside of your teacher seller business. If you've never heard of Trello before, it's a project management tool that allows you to basically manage your projects. You might've heard of other ones like Asana, ClickUp, Monday, Notion. Um, there are many different ones. And so I'm just going to teach you about Trello because that's the one that I know. And we're just going to dive into how to create a business headquarters for yours today so that you can have everything that you need in one centralized location. If you're new to this channel, the name's Rainy. I am a productivity mentor for teacherpreneurs. I help you manage your time and energy while scaling your business so that you can ditch the hustle and grind, break up with busy, and stop sacrificing your mental health and sanity. So make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell so you can keep following videos on Sundays and Wednesdays. But we're just going to dive right in into why I use Trello inside my business and how to create a business headquarters. So you're actually going to get to see the business headquarters that I use for my business. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little mad. I just recorded this and my Loom decided to delete it. So we're gonna try again. And if this happens again, I'm gonna kill this computer. <laughs> anyway, let's just walk through really quickly how to build your board so that we can actually start to create your business headquarters. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so when you first open Trello, it will look like this, except for you're not gonna have any boards. I have tons of boards because I use Trello all the time and I just have a bunch of boards. You're not gonna have anything yet. You're going to go here. What I would do first is create a workspace. A workspace is kind of like categorize categories for your business. So for example, if you're going to have a business bunch of boards, then I would name it your business. So mine's the Timely Teacherpreneur. If I could spell right. Okay. And then workplace type, I just put small business and then I click continue. Then I'm going to skip. I'm not going to add any work members right now. So now you have the board. So now over here, you can click create board and you're going to name your board. We're making a business headquarters for ours right now. And it, right here is where you can pick the workspace. I already have a bunch of workspaces you can see and you can have 10 workspaces per board. So if you look, I can't put any more in homemaking. I already have 10 boards there, but I'm going to do it in the Timely Teacherpreneur one because we just made it for that purpose. And then here's your board. It's empty. We're going to build it together. But how you can make a list really easy is just the lists are just these different, like kind of like chapters of a book. So maybe you want one for passwords, maybe you want one for financials, maybe you want one for branding, and then you want to add stuff underneath this. Maybe you want to add a password for your website, maybe you need to have a link to your QuickBooks, maybe you want to add your logo, your TPT banner, your YouTube banner. Um, and then you can easily click within the card and edit all of that yourself. I'm not going to really go through all of the ins and outs of Trello in this video. I do have a mini course coming out to help with that. You can also play around in Trello. It's pretty easy to navigate, but let's go through how to create your business headquarters board from scratch with me. So I'm going to go to my actual, uh, business headquarters board. If Trello will load, which it's not, I don't want to go here. Oh, okay. Here it goes. All right. Let's go to my board. Okay, so we're gonna talk through how to build your actual business headquarters in here super fast. Now, I will say if you see this and you love this and you don't want to recreate it for yourself, I do have this board, a bunch of other board, a bunch of other boards available for teacher sellers. I will link all of it underneath this video. I also have a free TPT sellers product creation Trello board that I will link under here as well in case you're new to dabbling in Trello and you want to figure it out first and try it out before you buy this board. But you can also just make this board with me in this video. Okay, so the first thing, the reason I really love having this business headquarters board, as you'll see as we go through it, is I have everything in one place for me. This board is pretty much open. It's one of the first tabs that opens when my computer opens up. I use it all the time. So the first thing you're going to want to do is include all of your branding in here. It's really easy to just have it all in one place so that when you need your logo or you need something, it's readily available. So I have a TPT seller business as well outside of the teacher productivity world. So this is the one for my teacher seller business, hence why it says Whimsically Musical instead of the Timely Teacherpreneur. I have my logo, my brand colors, and my brand fonts. This is where you could put stock photos of like photos that resemble your brand really well. 
I have an Instagram image for when I have a new YouTube video, my Facebook banner, an example of a Pinterest graphic, blog graphics, YouTube covers, email banner, TPT banners, hashtags, all the things that I need for my brand in one centralized location. Passwords and logins, this is really awesome as well. If you have LastPass, it's really easy because LastPass stores all of your passwords for you. I just put my LastPass login information right in. If you don't have LastPass, you'd have to put username, password, which you can easily do, but if you don't have LastPass, I recommend investing in that. Business websites. This is where this comes in handy really easily. Instead of having to like go to each website and like individually type it in and remember where everything is included, I have it all right here. So for example, I have a link to my website right here so that I can easily get to my website when I need it. If I have scheduling appointments, like if I schedule appointments with like done for you workflow clients, I use Calendly. I have my Calendly link here. Um, if I'm scheduling social media, I have my later link here. Video conferencing, like if you use Zoom or Skype. Payment processor, so how you get paid, you can add a link to PayPal or Stripe. Your email provider, so I use Flowdesk. I have a link to my Flowdesk account. Course portal, I use Teachable, so I have a link to that. Client hub, that would probably be more like if you're doing client work, if you're a service provider. Instagram account, I have an easy access to my Instagram, my Facebook page, my Pinterest account, and then any freebies or opt-ins or lead magnets that I'm promoting all the time. And of course, I should add my YouTube channel on here as well. But this is really great so that I can just open it up, immediately click into it, and I don't have to worry about doing this a million more times. And my website is taking forever to load, but I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful. I'm just, I'm very proud of how that came out. But <laughs> that's not the point of this. Okay. Then we have workflows. So if you don't know what workflows is, I have a really great blog post for you that I will link underneath this video. But block workflows essentially are just your process or your sequence of events to take you from point A to point B in any sort of thing for your business. So I have a blogging workflow, an Instagram workflow, a TPT product creation workflow. I have more workflows than this. I've been lazy and haven't put them all in, but you can easily make a checklist of what you do start to finish so that you can easily have all your workflows in one place. I recommend having this so that when you make a specific board for like maybe your blogging work process or your YouTube process or for social media content, you can simply copy this card over to that other board and then you don't have to recreate your workflow all from scratch again. Take time to map out your workflows. I promise you will wish that you had. If you want to learn more about workflows, I'll also put a link to my course, The Batching Breakdown. That's where we really get into like creating systems and workflows for your teacher seller biz. Testimonials. This is where you want to store any testimonials or social proof you've received from clients or adoring fans. Anytime you get something great on Instagram or a great review on TBT or things, share it here. So for example, this one says, thanks for teaching me Trello. I use my notes on the fly and then organize. My post, night, my post last night came from my idea bank. This person was inspired to use Trello through me and gave me a really great like comment inside of my DMs. And so now when I'm doing my when I'm promoting my Trello mini course in a couple of weeks, I can post this and be like, look, I know what I'm talking about about Trello. She's using it to get ideas for her Instagram. And everyone's gonna be like, oh wow, I need that in my life. I will say I'm not good at upload updating this as that is the only one that I have right now. But I have tons of these on my phone. I'm gonna take some time after this video to do it. But then that way, when I'm looking for testimonials, I don't have to search through my phone and go, oh, where was that testimonial? I know I had one on this. It's all right there. Take time to do that with your reviews as well to promote products of yours for TPT. Then business finances is where you can keep track of all of your business expenses. I just put a link to my QuickBooks in here. I have hired my very first team member, a bookkeeper, uh, my good friend, Jim, to help me with all of my books and stuff for business because um, I'm kind of a hot mess express and I didn't want to be in trouble come tax time. And so she's helping me and I'm having to like send her all the invoices from January to June to catch up and that is just not fun. But uh, this is a really great place to keep track of your business finances, whether you use a spreadsheet, Excel, Google Sheets, um, you use QuickBooks, whatever you use. Then we have inspiration. So if you stumble upon a website you really love or somebody whose copy you really adore, you can add it down below so you can look at them again for inspiration. I do that for websites, quotes, social media posts, Pinterest boards, blog post headlines that I really love, Facebook ads especially because if I want to do a Facebook ad, I want to look at examples of ads that I think I would have bought so that I do the same thing. Instagram posts, email sequences, and sales and landing pages. So pull inspiration. Don't steal, of course, but if you see something that you're like, oh, I really enjoyed that, save it here so that you have it for later. Then we have courses. This is where you can store all your course portals and login information so you can have easy access to them so that you're not having to dig through emails to try to find courses or you completely forget about courses, which I've done before. But if you're extra like me, you can just have a board for it. <laughs> 
if you're extra like me. And here's my board right here. And I have, oh my God, can you stop? Oh my God. Here's my board right here, and I have it categorized by different pro uh, categories. Yes, I have many courses, but I bought someone like this pack of 100 that was for like 50 bucks. I have Instagram, sales and marketing, emails, productivity, client experience, systems, finances, personal branding, miscellaneous, blogging, team building, content, ideal client, teacher, masterclass, mindset, household management, manifestation, and all that. And when you click into it, it'll actually lead you, it's loading, to the actual page, and then you'll just have to log in, and then I can log in and be ready to go. Super, super simple. So I would recommend doing that for your courses, especially ones that you frequent all of the time. That is definitely a good thing to make sure to be aware of. And then we have affiliate links. If you're part of any affiliate programs or referrals, list them here. So I have a link to my Amazon shop right here so that I can easily click in, see how it's doing, update all of the different sections, all of that good stuff. And then last but not least, catch me on. This is where you can store a list of anywhere you've been featured. If you were a podcast guest, a guest speaker in a mastermind, if you were a guest blog post person for easy reference, I have not done this. I'm terrible at this. I was actually doing this right before I got here. I was about to go and go do that. Like I was just on this podcast. And so I was going to add a picture of that because um, I've been on about seven or eight podcasts at this point. So make sure to take time to do that because that builds your credibility as well. I actually do have an Instagram highlight reel of all of mine that I've been on so that people realize like, oh, like I can book her for gigs and you can make a media kit, which I would even add your media kit here. We'll talk about that another day. But that's basically all I use this board for. It's all in one place. It's super easy to manage everything and have a great big look at your business in one board. So that was a really big thunder, <laughs> thunder sound. Anyway, I hope this is really helpful for you. If you like this board, remember, I'm going to have it in the video after this. Um, I'll have it underneath the video. I'll also have my whole entire bundle for teacher sellers and then be in store for the mini or the mini course that is coming out soon on Trello. But we have three more videos coming on Trello for the rest of July. So be excited for that. Now in a video coming soon, I'm going to show all of the different ways that you can use Trello within your business, but you'll see a little screen uh, video recording of different boards in my business as I'm saying this to you, I use my Trello to basically organize everything in my life. Not only my business, but also my personal life. I have stuff for meal prepping. I have stuff for when I do launches. Like I just had a launch of the of my new course, The Batching Breakdown. I use it for email marketing. I use it for Instagram content scheduling. I use it for all of my content calendar scheduling. I use it as a business headquarters. I use it to schedule out my blog posts. I mean, anything and everything that I could organize, I have organized inside of Trello. And so the first thing that I'm gonna really show you really quickly how to make a board and like the very general, if you're like brand new to Trello, like how to set that up. And then we're gonna actually walk through how to create your own business headquarters, which at the end, if you don't wanna make that all by yourself, I actually have the board available for you that you can purchase. So I will put the link under the bio um, so that you have that readily available to you. I also have a free TPT product creation bank Trello board for you if you are a TPT seller and I will link that underneath here as well. But let's get started. That's it on how I have started organizing Trello in my business and how you too can organize it starting by building your business headquarters. Now, like I said, there are many different ways that you can use Trello and we are going to figure that out over the next four weeks within my Trello mini series before my talk to our talk Trello to me teacher printer course comes out and that is going to be super, super excited. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned, but we will have these on Sundays. Now I will say that next Sunday is gonna be a little bit weird. I'm switching my TPT Wednesday with my Trello Sunday because I'm in a teacher tag for the TPT teacher conference. So next Sunday will be a teachers pay teachers conference review. Um, and then the Wednesday after that will be Trello. So it'll be two TPT back to back and then Trello, but don't worry, it's coming. Um, if this was helpful, please like, share, and subscribe so that everybody can find it. Remember to note, get the notification bells so that you see the video on Wednesday, which this one's going to be really good. It is my TPT and all income report for quarter two. So definitely stay tuned for that. Get your Trello boards down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.